वेलकम सी दिस सम हैव टू सॉल्व d स्क्वायर प्लस 1 y इक्वल्स टू sin p x सो योर नेम ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन इज m स्क्वायर प्लस 1 इक्वल्स टू 0 सो m स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू माइनस 1 दैट इज m इक्वल्स टू प्लस माइनस i द रूट्स आर प्लस माइनस i हेंस द कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी फंक्शन विल बी a cos x plus b sin x नाउ द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल so y equals to 1 by d square plus 1 sin cube x so 1 by d square plus 1 and given knowing sin 3x equals to 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x from here sin cube x is coming 1 by 4 into 3 sin x minus sin 3x so this one by splitting what we can write 3, 3 by 4 into 1 by d square plus 1 sin x minus 1 by 4 1 by d square plus 1 sin 3x. Now we will find the particular integral for these two separately. So first I am showing this one. 1 by d square plus 1 sin, <coughs> sin 3x. Here what we can do, it is a minus a. So that means it will be a is 3, 1 by minus 3 square plus 1. Be careful, it is not minus 3 whole square, minus 3 square, minus a square. Sign 3x, that is <coughs> minus 9 plus 1 minus 1 by 8. This is equals to minus 1 by 8 sin 3x. This is coming. Now we will come to this, this portion 1 by d square plus 1 sin x. Here see that if we are putting this method minus 1 square will be minus 1 plus 1 it will become 0. So we cannot apply that method. So here we are applying a different method. What is that? See carefully. We are assuming y equals to 1 by d square plus 1 cos x and z equals to 1 by d square plus 1 sin x. So y plus i z equals to 1 by d square plus 1 taking common cos x plus i sin x. This one can be converted to the exponential function e to the power ix. So this one we can write as 1 by i is here and e to the power a is d plus i whole square plus 1. So this is d square plus 2i plus i square. i square is minus 1 and plus 1 is cutting. So d square plus 2i d e to the power ix. This one can be written as e to the power i x 1 by 2 i d I am taking common. So 1 plus d by 2 i equals to e to the power i x 1 by 2 i d 1 plus d by 2 i whole to the power minus 1 and this one. Now we can expand this in binomial theorem as you are knowing 1 minus d by 2 i plus it will be d square by 2i whole square in this way it will go on means higher power of d will come but here we are knowing derivative of 1 itself is 0 so d square is not arising so this is becoming as I am showing here e to the power ix 1 by 2i d this is 1 only or we can write as e to the power ix by 2i 1 by d of 1 1 by d of 1 means we have to find that function whose derivative is 1 that is e to the power ix by 2i x if we are putting e to the power i x as cos x plus i sin x, then we can write <coughs> x into cos x 
प्लस आई आई मैक्स बाय टू आई दिस इज कमिंग एस एक्स कॉस एक्स बाय टू आई प्लस एक्स साइन एक्स बाय टू आई आई इज कटे दिस वन एक एन डी राइट है मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय आई इट इज बिकमिंग आई इनटू एक्स कॉस एक्स बाय माइनस टू प्लस एक्स साइन एक्स बाय टू हेंस द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल व्हाट वी हैव डन इज दिस वन सो दिस इज इक्वल्स टू That particular integral is three by four. In one by d square plus one sine x, we got it. This one sine x. Ah, <coughs> here we are not completed. Here our assumption was y plus i j equals to this one i into x cos x plus x sin x by 2 equating the imaginary part because we are supposed to find z imaginary part requires the equating so what we are getting z equals to it is this one that is x cos x by minus 2 this is the Imaginary part is coming. So what I was writing, three by four into, so it is we got it as x cos x by minus two cos x by minus two minus one by four into d square plus sine three x. That one we got. We have wrapped it. We have shown it. That is minus nine plus one minus eight. One by minus eight sine three x. So finally it becomes minus three by eight. X cos x plus one by thirty two sine three x. So what is our general solution? Now general solution is general solution will be this is general. What will be the general solution? First, we write the complementary function a cos x plus b sin x minus 3 by 8 x cos x plus 1 by 32 sin 3x. Hence, this is our final general solution.